Well, hello there. Today in this video, I'm going to tell you about six awesome places in the area around Cedar City, Utah that you may not have heard of. These are places that are sure not to disappoint. Cedar City, Utah is located in the heart of southwestern United States. The first awesome place in the area surrounding Cedar City, Utah, that you may not have heard of is Bryce Canyon National Park. Bryce Canyon National Park is about an hour and 40 minutes drive time plus about 77 miles from Cedar City. Bryce Canyon is not a single canyon, but a series of natural amphitheaters or bowls carved into the edge of a high plateau. The most famous of these is the Bryce Amphitheater, which is filled with irregularly eroded spires of rocks called hoodoos. Perhaps every visitor to the park will spend at least some time marveling at its four main viewpoints, all found within the first few miles of the park. Other viewpoints are found along the trail's 18-mile main road, which travels from park's only entrance in the north along the plateau rim to its highest elevation in the south, over 9,000 feet. Hiking trails explore the forests of the plateau, connect between viewpoints along the rim of the Bryce Amphitheater, and wander through the hoodoos below. Deepen your understanding of the park by attending a ranger program, whether it be a daily geology talk, a rim walk, evening program, astronomy program, or full moon hike. Bryce Canyon offers two campground sites, one in winter, and lodging is available at the Bryce Canyon Lodge during the summer season. During winter, hotel rooms are available in the park at the Sunset Hotel. The next awesome place in the area surrounding Cedar City, Utah, that you may not have heard of, is Kodachrome Basin State Park. Kodachrome Basin State Park is about one hour and 45 minutes and 100 miles drive from Cedar City, Utah. The geologic points of interest of the park are sandstone spires and columns called sandpipes, believed to be found nowhere else on Earth. Differing geological explanations of the features in Kodachrome Basin State Park exist. One explanation is that the area was once similar to Yellowstone National Park with hot springs and geysers, which eventually filled up with sediment and solidified. Through time, the Entrada sandstone surrounding the solidified geysers eroded, leaving large sandpipes. 67 sandpipes ranging from 2 to 52 meters have been identified in the park. Primary recreational activities in Kodachrome Basin State Park include photography, wildlife watching, camping, and hiking the park's several trails. Popular sites include Chimney Rock, Shakespeare Arch, which collapsed in 2019, and Ballerina Geyser. Stargazing is also popular as the park sees very little light pollution. Grosventor Arch, an intricate double arch, located 10 miles southeast of the park. Kodachrome Basin State Park has 55 campsites. The next awesome place in the area surrounding Cedar City, Utah that you may not have heard of is Cedar Breaks National Monument. 
Cedar Breaks National Monument is about 35 miles and about 45 minutes drive from Cedar City, Utah. Cedar Breaks is a natural amphitheater stretching across three miles with a depth of over 2,000 feet. The elevation of the rim of the amphitheater is over 10,000 feet. The rock of the amphitheater is more eroded than, but otherwise very similar to formations at nearby Bryce Canyon National Park and Red Canyon in Dixie National Forest. The Rim Visitor Center is open from June through October. Several hundred thousand people visit the monument annually. The amphitheater, located near the west end of the Colorado Plateau, covers the west side of the Markagant Plateau, the same plateau that forms parts of Zion National Park. Uplift and erosion form the canyons over millions of years, raising and then wearing away the shale, limestone, and sandstone that were deposited at the bottom of a giant ancient lake about 60 million years ago. The rocks of the eroded canyon contain iron and manganese in various combinations, providing brilliant colors that led Indians to call it the circle of painted cliffs. Iron oxides provide the reds, oranges, and yellows, while manganese oxides provide shades of purple. The color of the rock is soft and subtle compared to the hoodoos at Bryce Canyon. The next awesome place in the area surrounding Cedar City, Utah that you may not have heard of is Kolob Canyons of Zion National Park. Kolob Canyons Visitor Center is about 20 miles and about 28 minutes drive time from Cedar City, Utah. It requires some extra effort to explore Kolob Canyons, but it is well worth the effort. There are no services at Kolob Canyons Visitor Center, so Cedar City, 20 miles north of the entrance, at the edge of the Mojave Desert, is the best place to stock up on supplies that you might need for the trip. Cedar City is home to a handful of lodging options, grocery stores, and outdoor gear retailers. The Taylor Creek Trail, which heads up the Middle Fork of Taylor Creek, is the most popular trail in Kolob Canyons park at the lot two miles beyond the entrance station, then head the 2.2 miles upstream to Double Arch Alcove, a Navajo sandstone formation sandwiched between the towering walls which rise 1,700 feet above the trail. The trail also passes the historical Larson and Fife cabins, both built in the 1930s. In addition to Slut Canyons and Vermilion Cliffs, Kolob Canyons is home to one of the longest natural arches in the world at 287 feet long. There are no campgrounds in Kolob Canyons. It's all backcountry camping and wilderness regulations apply, except for day hikes to avoid the danger of dehydration if you're filtering water. Be sure to check whether your intended source is flowing before heading into the desert, especially for a multi-day trip. Despite its remote, roadless, traveled feel, Kolob Canyons is home to nearly a dozen hiking trails. Hikes in this district of the park range from the easy stroll to Timber Creek Overlook to the longer, more strenuous overnight out and back to Kolob Arch. And for those with some technical experience in canyoneering, a canyoneering expedition in Bear Trap Canyon or the subway Slot Canyon could be of interest. Regarding Subway Slot Canyon, there is a conventional route for hikers, which is called the Bottoms Up Route. 
the next awesome place in the area surrounding Cedar City, Utah, that you may not have heard of is Hidden Haven Falls of Dixie National Forest. Hidden Haven Falls Trailhead is about 25 miles and about 40 minutes drive from Cedar City, Utah. Hidden Haven Falls, not last, but probably least in this awesome list of six in this video. Hidden Haven Falls, Dixie National Forest. There's a great waterfall just outside Parowan that was really fun to visit, though the hike is somewhere between easy and moderate. Most anyone who's ambulatory can make the hike and enjoy a great time. The Hidden Haven Waterfall hike is an easy length at about one mile to the waterfall, making it two miles round trip. But there is a little bit of scrambling up the channel in a few spots. About 300 feet in elevation gain is encountered and it is dog friendly. The next awesome place in the area surrounding Cedar City, Utah, that you may not have heard of, is Red Canyon of Dixie National Forest. Red Canyon Visitor Center is about 65 miles drive and 75 minutes drive time from Cedar City, Utah. Red Canyon. The Red Canyon Visitor Center is located just off Highway 12 en route to Bryce Canyon National Park amid the spectacular red sandstone spires and formations. This area has been called the most photographed place in Utah. It is easy to see why, with the brilliant red soil contrasted with the green pines. The Red Canyon Trail System is widely known and very popular. Nearby trails include Pink Ledges, Hoodoo, Bird's Eye, and Golden Wall. For mountain bike riding, there is Thunder Mountain and Red Canyon Bicycle Trail. It is also used for road bikes. There are miles of ATV trails as well as paved bicycle trails. There are many trails open to foot traffic as well as bicycle, horse, and ATV. Stop by the visitor center to pick up a map and guidelines as to the type of traffic each trail allows. Seasonal displays show the area's flowers, birds, trees, and geology. There are permanent displays of area features as well. There are nature hikes, star viewing, and photography opportunities. And these are the six amazing things to see near Cedar City, Utah.